welcome back to Space Cam number three. Okay, so last time I was talking about how we are going to get a molecule in here, the oxygen, and we're going to grab it and move, drop it here into where I'm planning on just kind of having it sit there for a while. The problem is though is that when it tries to output it, we're going to get an error because it's not bounded twice to another oxygen molecule, so I'm going to have to actually work with the um, blue Yeah, let's do that. So, one, two, it's going to have a molecule. Three, it's going to grab it. Four, it's going to make another one. So, one, two, three, four. By that time, this will be here. And maybe one more. Is that actually going to do it like that? Yes, it did. Okay. Blue's going to go over here. Blue is going to drop it here. Red's going to go back. Back red to go back a little bit more. And I'm not going to have red be in charge of this one. I'm going to have blue be in charge. So blue is going to output after bonding it once. And that's not going to be enough. Huh. Just push this over one more. There we go. And then we're just going to bond it one more time. So theoretically, it should work. Or not. Because it's going to sink twice here. Because red's going to go back and forth. It's going to be like, oh, I'm going to sink. It's just going to wait. I don't care what the sink is, it's probably better there, I guess. Bumble bumble. Bon bon dropped. And there you go again. Okay. Crisis averted. When I first played through these, they were, um, they were much more elaborated, or more complex than they should have been. Like, these are simple solutions. I didn't fully understand that I could send them back and work with it in some in that manner. Oh, someone be still has more less symbols than me. Oh well. Good cycle rate, though. Best left unanswered. Ooh, we have another story. Oh, did I see this one? No, I didn't. Three, two, one. Pause if you want to read. And three, two, one. Pause if you want to read. Okay. So now we're doing this three times. So, same solution. Second verse, same as the first. I got the lovely bunch of coconuts. Dilly, dilly. Grab this way, go up, uh, bond them, Drop. Uh, a little further, because I just realized that we're going to have to do this twice. Okay. So, input A, grab, sync, sync, A is going to drop it here, send it back, and we got to bond it three times this time. Oh, 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 oh. 
Congratulations for the win. It's fun when your solution matches almost the same one as last time. Not bad. Multiple outputs. Okay, so in this one we have to grab the molecules break them up and put the carbon atom up there and the oxygen atom down there. Listen. Not a pain breaking discovery, in fact, I think Ray could just do this on his own. Um, is that the right rotation? Nope, wrong rotation. I want the other way. Wait, is it the same? No, it's not. Okay, so we're gonna have him, or it, I guess. So it's two bounded, so I have to break it twice. Bond theirs. I can drop it right here. And then I output one, and then the other. Input, grab, rotate down. Break the first bond. Break the second. Drop it there. Output both. Yay! We are geniuses. Though I bet there are better solutions. By the way, I'm just speeding that up. There, so. Ooh! Don't know how you got away with ten, but... Or is that eleven? I don't know. That's just awesome, sir. An introduction to pipelines. Hmm? Ah, uh, yes. Now comes the hard part of the game. Before, we were just working in one reactor. Now we got several re- holy crap. Oh, never mind. This is actually easier than I thought. So this is just an introduction on pipelines, so this one's giving off this chemical and that one's giving off that chemical. We just have to make sure they go on the right. Uh, what is this, a cargo ship thingy? Cargo freighter. And this is just a storage tank. I don't know why you have such chemicals needed for your cargo. I don't know what your real equivalent is. There you go. No reactors, no symbols, yeah. Cycles are... I did it with them. We were in par with the least amount. Is there a way to do it faster? Just pipes? Maybe? Nope. We're in par. Nothing we can do about it. I thought maybe I could make less pipes, but I guess it was the same amount of pipes. So there's something in the fish tank. What's this? Uh. Okay, so now we have to make our own. So we have a standard reactor. And we can only place it on these tiles. Uh, I could put it here. So if I put the hydrogen up here, and the chlorine down here, and then we have our output like that. So we can see that now in the reactor we have the hydrogen coming in. Versus, if we didn't have that pipe in there, we won't get the hydrogen. Obviously. That's going to be obvious. So we're just going to do this. So we'll grab that there. Actually, I wonder. If you input. Go up. Grab.
So right now, they're waiting. They're waiting for their molecules to come in. Oh. I see the problem. Problem is, they're not completely synced. Okay. So, red came in. It's now waiting for blue. Blue did not grab because I have it set to a drop. Okay. Do that a bit just so we can wait. And they collide. There we go. As you can see, the uh, pipelines do get full, and they do wait for the uh, molecule or atom to come through here. And I say molecule or atom not because I'm not unsure, is that these pipelines do hold, as you can see here, molecules, compounds. Oh, we use more symbols than we needed to. The sad face. Ooh, much longer than I anticipated. Alright, got in here.